Hello, ladies and gentlemen. This is the wolf, and I'm casting a game between Flesh Cut, the Alpharis Protoss in the bottom, and his opponent. Have a look, Jet. Kasu Sesji. Kasu Um, the green Zerg left side. So, I just casted a game, and it didn't cast it right. It did like the last 10 second bullshit again. But I'm very pleased right now because. There's the number up here you guys can't see, and it's telling me that I'm casting right now. And I was able to see it when I previewed the video, so I was afraid I wouldn't, I wasn't going to keep doing it. But when I uploaded it on YouTube, the previous video, the one, not the one that didn't cast it, but before that, the Penguin versus Jeremy Four, Game Thirty Six, I think. Uh, just ran out of breath. I'm getting so hyper for you guys, even though it's lagging really bad again for some reason. Today's just not my day, I guess. We're gonna, we're gonna look over here while doing weird stuff. Um, don't know why it's lagging bad today, guys. Just just a bad day for my computer. Maybe it's still hot down here. Yeah, I'll just hold it up a little bit. Um, anyway, so I know when I'm casting games now, which makes me much happier because after that game, I felt horrible. I'm like, <sighs> I wasted like three quarters of all the casts I did today were just me doing the same thing over and over again. And now I know I'm casting. I'm glad about that. Number two, um, that same game I was just talking about. <coughs> I, uh, it did end up with a se like a 17 second fragment at the end, and I learned how to connect videos together. And so, thankfully, this, this game is really long. I'll try to separate the video files so that they're all even. It might come out with, like, three of them. I don't know if it's possible to do that, because I only know how to connect s video files, and I can't get over 15. But if I, you know, if I get, like, a small one at the end, I can, instead of it being, like, 10 minutes and 4 minutes, I can put them together for 15, so... I'll keep playing around with that, trying to get it right. And final announcement is down here. Jeez, I just, I'm not warping in unit. I'm not warping in buildings very well today, guys, huh? You, you guys didn't see it, but in one of the games, a lot of probes were killed. And it just started lagging really bad. Um, I know that some people want me to cover this up. And, oh, I just thought of something, too. That's bad. Fucking froze. Serious? Why so serious? That number might be actually doing it, so. D is production. Um. I don't get it. Oh, I pressed the pause button. Sorry, guys. You're gonna have to do it. I thought my computer was, like, completely freaking out on me. Okay. This is gonna be a little bit of a glitch, but we're just gonna keep going through it. Because you know why? I already went through all the announcements. I'm already in a good mood. Um, one of my, one of the people on SCA who's a cool guy has Calvin and Hobbes' avatar picture and left me, a, he left me a comment in one of my videos saying I should probably leave the production tab up. I'll do that for you guys because sometimes at the beginning I'll ramble on it, but I mean, we all know the standard opening, not all of us, but you know, most of us know the standard openings like, oh, 13 gateway, whatever, cybernetics, blah, blah, I don't know build orders, 15 hatch, 15 pool, blah, blah, blah. And so, I mean, at this point in the game, it's almost always standard. I could comment on it, but it would be me repeating myself when instead I could just say stupid things about myself that you guys can laugh at while we're waiting. Um, but I was going to say, one, I'll try to leave this tab open when stuff's not going on, because you guys probably would like to see it when you're listening to me rattle on. Two, covering this thing up, I've had a couple people say I should cover it up, and Sometimes I would like to leave it open because I think it'd be nice for you guys. I think it's nice to see it personally in games. But, you know, it's not very professional. Right now, you're just going to have to deal with it, though, because I think... I read somewhere that the to upgrade it, it costs... Like, it, was, it was something really high to get the programming. For, it was like Sony Vegas video or something to cover this up. And so I'm trying to learn how to do it with virtual dub, but I don't think I can without especially uh, covering every single frame with it, which is a lot of frames. I mean, you guys can't see it, but now it's like 10 frames per second, so a lot of frames. Uh, yes, and we'll take a quick look at the Zerg. He's going for a gas. Not much is going on Zerg land. He's kind of, he's slowing down a bit. Oh, and Flushcut is usually a Zerg player. I received like three replays from Project Fox, and Project's always got good replays, so I love to watch him. But I was really hoping for a Protoss game, so we're just going to watch this one first. I've, I've got a lot of replays recently. I'm not going to cast them in order, though. I, I try to cast them all, because I want to keep up with it. If I don't keep up with it, I'll die. But lots, lots of circling to the front, though. I should be able to hold that off just fine. If that's, if that's tight, it should be tight. Yeah, it should be tight. So that, 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 that zealot should be fine enough. 
Um, even if they got through him, the stock would be able to pull them off long enough. Plus, these should be... Yeah, they could be warp gates, so he's fine. Mac, we're failing a little bit, which is fine. He's, all, he's playing off races. You lose third player. We've seen him in a previous game. Um, it's like TVZ, where he just ran circles around him. It was kind of funny. Um, so, yeah, he's off race. It's okay. Mistakes, mistakes are made. And... Yeah, about covering this up, though. If... I ever make any money off of this, which isn't my primary intention. It's just to make videos because I like helping others and I like making videos. Oh, I think this is my build. I think he's doing my build. No, he's not. <coughs> my primary interest is just to make videos and help others out. I like to make videos. So, if I ever make any money off of this, though, I will put... First, I'll try to get a new computer, and then I'll try to figure out this whole covering up thing. If it doesn't... It takes something more than virtual dub. Okay, so... <coughs> <coughs> oh. <coughs> moving out the uh sorry guys <coughs> I must have swallowed my own tongue uh moving out the zerglings not enough to take out the stalkers though they're bunched up thankfully that that's good good unit pickups at the very beginning of the game the units lost you see the zerg <coughs> was lost uh like seven zerglings and a drone I think that's what it would be D production you guys want to see production tab <laughs> <coughs> Damn. I can't believe it didn't wall off, though. The Zerg player could have definitely just killed him if he ran through. Going for fast plus one weapons, which is very wise for Zealots. Doesn't benefit uh, Stalkers as much. I hear a lot of talk about Stalkers not being good enough anymore. It's kind of interesting. I, I Personally, I, w I wouldn't be bad to see the Stalker have its health decreased and have its attack increased. <coughs> one because mass stalkers is bad, don't do it unless it's late game. Two, and that would make it weaker. Two, because you want good army composition, which you know you need guardian shield and you need second finger is zealot. <laughs> okay, so flush cut here is going for a push. Unfortunately, that's exactly what he doesn't want to be doing. Zerg player is completely ready for it. Excuse me. Damn, I was so ready to cast this game. I like drank some water. I was in such a good mood at figuring all that stuff out. You know, I'm actually casting it right now. I'm not wasting my words. <coughs> now I'm like having a stroke right in front of you guys. But really, Fleshcoat doesn't want to be attacking right now. I'm sure he knows about Zerg, but he may not know what he's getting into. Let's take a look. I think it's two. Wrong. One. Yes. We don't look at the base. He is expanding while well, quote unquote attacking. E for everyone. <coughs> Zerg players moving out with a lot of Zerglings. He's in a good position, though. If he just stays there and doesn't let him, you know, swarm up, he'll be just fine. Uh, they're gonna swarm up the ramp. Poor guy. Oh, yes. Fear the power of the defensive formation. Run, you little zergling bitches. Run. And I don't think Fleshcut's lost a unit yet. No, that's great. He's definitely in the lead right now. Able to push that advantage by expanding. Unfortunately, the Zerg is also expanding. I don't think he saw it, but he's just expanding because he wants to. Take a moment. Click two. I know it's two. Two. He hasn't seen the expansion. But he's wisely expanding, definitely because he's uh, behind right now. Uh, I'm so good with hotkeys. And he's also getting lair tech, so we can see some mutalists. Probably uh, two gas, three gas. Uh, yeah, at a thousand gas, I'd be expecting mutalists. Although, realistically, it would be more logical to probably go hydralists in his current position. Taking a quick look at the Protoss player's base. You got, oh, we do have uh, Blink slash Charge being available. Uh, so Photon Cam's going down, interesting defensive placement, not going to be the most effective, but looks cool, so I'll, I'll let it slide this time. I spent what's your opinion on this? It looks cool, so I'll let it slide. He is scouting with the probe, very wise. Make sure you scout with probes, my Protoss brethren. Losing workers sucks, losing workers for scouting is kind of cool and sacrificial. Uh, quick look guys, Wolf Statue, that would be me right there watching the game, I'm like, what's going on guys? Hey guys, you gotta fight in front of me, okay? I wanna watch this. Why don't you come over here and fight? Ice fake troll voice. Zerg player's doing a good job staying on top of his creep. He's spreading it out well, and he's also kinda got a hidden expansion up here. He's gonna be able to take care of the larva. He's getting a nice network right now, so. I'm surprised we don't see. Uh, okay. 10 roaches on the way, yeah. Um, so, I'm expecting. Currently, I think. He might use the overseer to try to hit the back. Or he might move the Overlord a little bit closer. He's actually probably close enough right now, too. Yes, I got it right. Oh, wait, we got some combat right here. Um, moving in, destroying the Minx statue. Good, because that would be one of Blizzard lookers. I think he's lost a unit now. Nope, still hasn't lost a unit, so he's good. 
Uh, I think he just was able to hit a few things. There's Gleal Reconstitution. Looks a bit like Tunneling Claws. Looks like Tunneling Claws. And currently, just messing up a good Ling Roach army, preparing for the Stalkers. Fortunately, it's kind of Mass Stalker right now. But he is getting to the point where Mass Stalker is about as effective as Zealot Stalker. I mean, it will never be as effective. Having one Zealot just take the first volley is always better than a Stalker take it. Uh, <clears throat> But it, there's a point where it becomes easier to micro, so it's, it's acceptable after a while. And he's getting to the point where enough stalkers are getting good. I've got an idea though, guys. I'm going to turn off the production tab. Okay, laggy lag. Stupid Zerg players, if you played like Protoss, I wouldn't have to worry about this. Although we do have some uh, Nidus shit going down. I turned off the production because it was decreasing my frames per second, I think, by one, so... You guys like the more frames, the happier you are. And remember, when it lags up, you just click the times two button, and everything's back to normal. There's the Nidus swarm coming up. Ten seconds, twenty seconds. It's tw it's ten and times two. <clears throat> you guys ready? I, I I know you guys didn't see this in my last class because the last class never got completed. But you ready for me to make the noise? That would be the sound that they make. Unfortunately. The best thing you can do against the Nidus Worms, if they do this, is just to move your workers over there and kill it. It's it's really, they don't live that well. They can be killed by a bunch of workers. In fact, what is the health of the Nidus Worms? I'd like to see the health of the Nidus Worms, thank you. <sighs> Fortunately, we've got a change thing in here. He's like, what's going on, guys? Okay, hey, now I'm just going to look at your face, okay? And there's a lot of Zerglings here. Fortunately, the, pro the Zerg player has a disadvantage. I mean, fortunate for us Protoss players. Uh, but he's also just going to fall back, so he needs to hurry up and get in the Ninus Worm. He's not, I don't think he's going to be able to take out all these stalkers in such a good position, too. Flesh cut, you need to A click, friend. Oh, crap. That was actually really bad. Is there a player probably. Oh, shit. <laughs> oh. Certainly not an eye for an eye, my friend. More like a technical for an eye or blade. It's not even very good. You know what I'm talking about. You guys know what I'm talking about. Nova was like, I'm getting out of here, guys. I'm calling an ice worm, and now I'm done, so I'll see you later. Damn, I can't tell. Once 